Hey there, folks. My name is Thomas, and I work for Cells. And uh, welcome to this introductory training. As we go through this information, you're going to want to have your Cells account open so that you can message our customer success team with any questions that you might have as we go along. It's the chat icon in the bottom right corner. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to get started using Cells. And at the end of this training, I'll have a discount code for you to use on one of our paid monthly plans. All right, let's get started. Here we have your Cells dashboard. You will go here to customize your store, control your online settings, and manage your orders. Here you'll see a list of activities to complete and get your store set up as well. From the dashboard, you can create a brand new online store with Cells, or you can sell from an existing website, social media, and several other options that I'll talk about later. One of the first steps you should take as a brand new user is to set up your payment gateways up because it can take a day or so to get approved to sell with Sells Pay. Um, so you click Settings, Checkout. Customers can pay using any major credit card or debit card when you enable Sells Pay. You can connect your bank account to your Sells account and we'll deposit payments into your bank account. Just click and follow the steps. You also have the option to connect to PayPal and Stripe depending on your location. This will give your customers the ability to choose their preferred method of payment. Now let's uh, talk about adding your products. Click on Items All within the left navigation to be directed to the Product Management page. Select Add Item. Select whether you want to sell a physical product, a digital product, or a service. Add a title and description. You can add a price here in custom units, for example, if you sell something per pound or for foot. Don't forget to add a preview image or a link to a video. All right, let's talk about variants quickly. If you're selling t-shirts and have five in blue or different sizes like small, medium, and large, this is where you would add that information. We also have a handy little SEO feature. You can change the page title and description to make it appear differently on Google if you want to. So click Save when you're done. Click View from the edit page if you want to see how the product will look on your site. Click the Share option to create a post on one of your connected social accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. This is also where you would grab your URL for your new product if you want to link directly to it on social media. We have a great way of sorting your products with categories and subcategories that will make it easier for users to navigate your site. Just click Categories to get started. From the Product Categories page, click New Category and give it a name to describe the contents, like apparel, coffee, or makeup, depending on whatever it is you're selling. Then select which products to add for each category by clicking the box next to the selection. Uh, click Add when you're done. Subcategories can also be added. So if you have apparel as the parent category, the child subcategories would be women's, men's, kids, something like that. You can also add categories to the top navigation on your store to create a really great menu. Now, depending on how you plan to sell, you can head over to the store builder to create your store with our ready-made themes, or you could head on over to the embed editor to create product buttons or widgets to add in to an existing site like WordPress. I'm going to start in the store builder. Let's pick out a theme by going to store themes. Important to note that the theme is not only the visual design, but also the information setup of the page. And each theme caters to different sellers. We have quite a few themes to choose from. If you So if you want to decide on a different theme, you can always come back here and switch to the theme of your choice. Remember that all of these are completely customizable to your brand. The process is easy. You can preview the theme first in our demo store and then click Install when you make a decision. Now we will be taken to the store builder just as soon as the theme is installed and published. We have a handy video to watch here to help you get started. You can come back to this design area by going to the store and clicking customize. This is a design area where you configure your store to look exactly how you want it. Uh, I recommend setting up the design of the page under the design tab first. Head to the typography tab. From here, you can add up to three different fonts to your store, body, heading, and an accent font. You can also choose the colors of your store under the Colors tab. This is where you'll set the default colors for your entire store, the background color, font colors, buttons, headers, menu, etc. 
Next, click on branding. You can upload your logo here, uh, your store icon, your store name, and choose where those show. Once your logo is updated, click on header where you'll find the settings to customize your heading. You can choose your logo settings, menu settings, and add an announcement bar or the cookie banner. Let's take a look at your store format. Each of the areas on the page of your website is called a block. For instance, the image at the top is one block. If you want to edit the text in any of the blocks, you simply click on the text and the editor will appear. You can add new blocks or sections of content by going to the Blocks tab. You can choose the type of new block you would like to add as well from here. For instance, a block of text or an image, some items from your store, testimonials from happy clients. You can even add HTML. You drag blocks like this. Take some time to customize your store to your own liking. Note that updates to the store are made automatically once you've saved them, so make sure you don't change things you're not sure about. I also wanted to tell you about the other options for selling your products online. If you already have an existing website, whether it's a WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, or something like that, it's super easy to embed your sales products or your entire store into your website. You can get there from buttons and widgets on the dashboard. As long as your site or blog contains a text, HTML, or code block, you will be able to add one of our buttons or widgets and or an entire store directly to your site by copying a bit of code. Here we have the embed editor. You can go through and customize the look of your buttons and widgets. You can make adjustments to color, behavior, size, and more within this editor. For most sites, you will need to make your changes, and once you're happy with the look of your button or widget, you click copy on the right and copy the code to your clipboard. The steps will vary slightly depending on the website you're pasting it into, but you should be able to choose if you want to link just one item, add a buy button, or even grab the code for your entire store and embed it on your site. Uh, let's configure shipping. Sales offers real-time shipping rates, which allow your customers to get exact shipping rates added to their product fee at checkout. To configure this, you go to Settings, Shipping, Real-Time Carriers within the Shipping tab. Real-time shipping rates even let you connect your carrier accounts if you have them. During the checkout process, we'll contact your connected shipping carriers to obtain the real-time cost of shipping the order. As part of this, we pass the following information. Origin and destination address, order weight, default parcel dimensions. Your connected carriers will then usually quote the cost to ship these items as well as available services like two-day or overnight delivery based on the customer's address. During the checkout, your customer will just select the service that they would like and the rate will be added to the order total. All right, so let's talk about what we can do within the store settings. You can change your domain if you want to use a custom domain. You go to uh, Settings, Store, Domain. From here, you can change your domain as well as add a personalized custom domain in this section. When it comes time to add a URL, uh, you don't have to have one purchased already. You can do so here. Click that you want to purchase the domain. You will be directed to Google Domains so that you can complete the checkout process through your Google account. If you, are, if you are outside the countries that Google services, uh, you'll be directed to complete your purchase through IWantMyName.com. Social links can be added in this section, and this is the advanced section that you use if you want to use custom JavaScript or CSS on your store. Let's go through a few other things on your control panel. Uh, the Discounts tab. Here you can create discount codes for your products. You can customize them however you want. Uh, you could do a percentage off or a specified amount. You just select Add and fill in the fields that pop up. All right, a very important tab is the Settings tab within the Admin panel on the left. Here you can customize and update email templates, receipts, connect to sales pay, enable PayPal, customize the checkout process, you name it. Uh, you can click on Settings to customize the checkout process for your customers. You can keep the shopping cart option, add the discount field. There's a whole bunch of stuff here for you to choose from. Um, sellers can also add terms and conditions to their site from here. Uh, the statement is usually customized as required with the default being, I agree to your store names, terms and conditions. One of our best features is abandoned cart emails. So you can set up abandoned cart emails just to the left. Uh, you select the abandoned cart initial. This is an automated email that is sent out if a customer adds something to their cart and doesn't purchase it. You can customize the message or even add the discount code. These emails are well known to increase sales pretty dramatically, so it's worth setting them up. Once this, uh, you know, this is, will all come together and, you know, once you've started making a few sales, you can uh, see your online sales by clicking on the analytics tab. 
Um, from here, you'll be able to get a whole bunch of information about your customers and what they're buying and um, use that to create more successful marketing and um, things like that. So now you're on your way to creating a successful online business. And as promised, here's the coupon code for you. And if you need any further help, you can check out our support center. Happy selling.